Let's get one thing straight before we get into this discussion. The notion that increasing the British army and standing up to Russia is a way of preventing a nuclear war is complete madness. The only way that we can prevent the current situation escalating into a nuclear conflict of some sort is if all the parties de-escalate. That means reopening the talks. Yeah. It means the British and other governments, the Americans, the EU, etc., must you bring all their pressure to bear to ensure that the fighting stops. There has okay. to be an immediate ceasefire. Okay. Kelvin McKenzie, uh, we, we need to keep talking. Uh, I, I don't know whether you've seen Mr. Putin's actions over the last 22 years. Uh, he doesn't believe in talking. He only believes in violence, oppression, killing, Novichok, spreading mayhem and violence wherever he goes. He is the friend of the other dictator. He would not, he would laugh at CND. I, 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 I feel sorry that you feel like you do, but the dangers of people like you, Carol, are why we end up in the world we're in today. You go unarmed into a conversation with Putin. There's only one victor in that discussion. It's a sad moment. And I cannot envisage a world now where we can uninvent the nuclear bomb. Carol Turner, what do you say to those people who will point back to the 1980s and uh, you know, not necessarily leading figures in CND, but people on the within the pacifist movement who were effectively uh, sometimes stooges of, of, the, of the communists in Moscow, uh, the, the sorts of people that Stalin would have referred to as useful idiots. First of all, CND isn't pacifist. I'm not a pacifist. If we have a nuclear war, it doesn't matter how many how many army, how many soldiers, how many tanks we've got. It isn't simply Russia that will be the loser. It's absolutely every single one of us. So please stop all this male posturing and yeah. aggression. We're going to stop the horrible dictator by arming ourselves to the teeth. Let me tell you, there are... Thanks. So let me let me get your argument right. This is now this is now an argument about gender now, is it, Carol? Wow, what an absurd diversion from this violence that we're watching on our televisions every single day. And the United States possess between them twelve thousand nuclear weapons. Some of them, not all, some of them have three thousand times the firepower of Hiroshima, yeah. Yeah. and the Carol, bombs just, that struck Carol, Hiroshima just, just on the specific point, just on the quarter just, of a million people yeah. in one fell swoop. Who yeah. is going to win if the people who want to refight the Cold War of thirty years ago run this Wait, conflict? But Carol, we haven't started this, this war, have we? We haven't. If this is a war. If this is war, and by Jove, if you're living in Ukraine, it certainly is one right now. How do you, you know, talking nicely to Vladimir Putin right now, how is that going to stop him doing what he's doing? Britain, the United States, talks to Saudi Arabia. It talks to all sorts of horrible people. All sorts They're not firing of missiles at us. <laughs> There is nothing, nothing that says we only talk to people who are nice, people who we like, people we consider as democratic. This is naive innocence. It's okay. also very bad propaganda. We have to, the worse the enemy you believe you're confronting, the more important it is to sit down and hammer out a solution which okay. works for both sides. Okay. There is no alternative yep. for our government, for the European Union, for the United States, 
but to put pressure for a de-escalation and a discussion. And it, okay, let, frankly, let just, uh, Carol, you, you, let's just put that, to, let's just to put that point to Kelvin. Is the person you're going to negotiate with nice or not? Ridiculous. Kelvin, Kelvin McKenzie. Well, the, 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 re the reality is that the reason why the nuclear bomb was invented in the first place was actually to end a war, actually, the first time it was used. And um, we are now, what, some, I don't know, 75, 76 years after that, we find ourselves in what is a comparatively local dispute, and there are wars all over the world, a comparatively local dispute, which we are now threatened because something which Liz Truss said aggravated a dictator who is used to having his own way. And so he immediately goes to his default position. What on earth are we supposed to do to that saying, oh, we're very, very sorry about that, Mr. Putin, if in any way we upset you, and is there anything we can do to possibly stop you killing innocent women, children, since you made that the gender point, women, children, and men in a country of which you have no role to play at all. What are we supposed to say to him? But say to him, well, really, you're really going to let off a nuclear bomb, right, in the middle of this effectively a local dispute? What, what would you say to that guy? So what are you going to do? No, what, what are, are you going to actually Why say to him right? to stop him? Don't say that. Don't say that. Or what are you going to say? I mean, to be honest, your argument, the CND argument, has been completely lost, as far as I can remember, this last 40 or 50 years. I can remember Greenham Common, for God's sake, right? So what are you actually going to say to the Putins of this world? 